Marcus Coffey reporting. I'm definitely not a fan of New Zealand after the way they handled the, uh, their shooting incident and the way they, uh, they encourage the prosecution of people reporting on that story. So, uh, But I, I will talk about uh, uh, t- uh, Kim.com, who I'm also not a fan of. I think he's a big, fat liar. And people have often said, and people ask me personally, they, you know, ask me online, say, say, well, what do you think about Tim uh, Kim dot com? He's got he's got the evidence on on Seth Rich being the leak. Well, I don't believe it, and I don't. I think he's just an opportunist and a uh, you know big fat liar. I think he's he's trying right now. He's in the news again. That's why I'm talking about it. So let's let's look at uh, you. You decide. Is he a big fat liar or is he is he the real shit? So here's Tim, Kim.com. If you don't know the story, Kim.com was a guy in in I think like 2006. He created this website where he allowed people to uh, to to house links or information. He was like a downloading guy. This is the fucking. It's just a a site where you could. Where, like a file sharing kind of site, and the U.S. government tried to shut him down, or did shut him down. Tried to say that he was a, he was engaging in criminal criminal violations of copyrights. Now I don't know if there is any such thing, but in 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 these times, everything is possible, right? The the they're, they're all we don't have laws anymore. We have people just just prosecuting you know people for political purposes, and this guy falls into that category. Now, that case, in my view, in 2012 would have died, but it's being revived, and they're trying to extradite Kim.com right, to the United States. Controversial internet entrepreneur Kim.com has begun a final appeal to halt his extradition from New Zealand to the U.S. on copyright-related charges. I, I never heard of a copyright, a copyright charge being criminal. How ridiculous. The FBI claims Mr. Dot Com's mega upload site earned millions of dollars by facilitating illegal file sharing. <laughs> Come on. But his lawyers told New Zealand Supreme Court on Monday it was never meant to encourage copyright breaches. Mr. Com, dot com, who denies the charges, could face a lengthy jail term in the U.S. if extradited and found guilty. Mm, so here's his, here's his nonsense about... Uh, he makes, I mean, he makes valid points, right? Uh, we're going to watch a little video of him talking about Seth Rich because that's really the shit, right? The, the reason why you notice the the timing, you have you have Julian Assange being being locked in a little cell for bail jumping, threats of extradition, and now the timing of Kim dot com, who what? Who has said, I know who leaked the DNC emails. He said it. I know who did it, and his name is Seth Rich. This guy said it. And he's also said that that um, he's also said that uh, Kim that I forgot what he said. We'll watch it anyway. Right? So no, no, he he said that um, I don't know what he said, but I'm, I just lost my train of thought, man. This shit happens, man. It's just you get you get old, right? So so here's his Tim Tim uh, Kim dot com. Let's listen to in his own words. Here, here's what he said: I knew Seth Rich. I know he was the WikiLeaks source. I was involved. Right? So, oh, right. He said that he would be willing to go to Congress in exchange for, for them to drop his charges of extradition for copyright infringement or whatever, that he would come to Congress and testify that he knew Seth Rich and, and, and he knows that Seth Rich was the WikiLeaks source Right, that there were no 12 GRU Russian agents that hacked the Democratic National Committee. That 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 in fact it was a leak by Seth Rich, which we widely believe it was. Uh, all the evidence suggests that it was. Uh, and this guy claims to have evidence, actual evidence of that happening, but has never brought it forward because he's 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 he wants to make a deal. He wants to make a deal. Don't extradite me, and I'll give you the goods. It hasn't worked out for him. So here he is. Some people are asking you to talk about Seth Rich. Tell us the truth. Um... Yeah, I would. I would like to do that. Uh, here's the issue, and you know, people need to understand why I need to be very careful uh, about this. I have a 
large legal team, both in New Zealand and the United States. I have lawyers in Hong Kong and elsewhere. What is important here is that I do a secure um, uh, an understanding with the US government that I cannot be charged with anything that has to do with the, um, with the leaking of emails uh, from the from the DNC and campaign uh, people within the DNC to WikiLeaks. I need to secure, based on my legal advice, I need to secure uh, an agreement that uh, gives me immunity in exchange for the evidence that I can provide. Every so, see what I'm saying? Like he's he's like, let's make a deal. I have the evidence, but I need my lawyers, my team of lawyers, and my million dollars. I want to buy my way out of this, and I'll give you some evidence. And then it's just bullshit evidence, right? Is it real evidence? Is it really, really evidence, right? Mueller again. Mueller he makes the point of it that Mueller Mueller never went after any of these guys. Julian Assange said that Seth Rich was the leak. They they're not interested. They're not. Kim.com is saying it, at least visit and at least hear the guy out. But it, because it violates the the official narrative that 12 Russians hacked the election, which has thus far still been unchallenged by any political party, any relevant major news media, mainstream media. No one has challenged the idea that the the nation was gaslighted very early on in 2016. Uh, about Russiagate, that the Russians hacked the DNC, when all along we knew it was a leak. It was a couple of individuals inside that were pissed off that Hillary Clinton, that the DNC was rigging the election in favor of Hillary, Hillary Clinton against Bernie Sanders, and they took the emails of the truth and they dumped it on WikiLeaks. Now that's the real story. That's the actual story. And then once caught, they then created the 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 scenario that it was... It was uh, DC leaks and Guccifer 2.0. They created these illusions, right? And we and we know for fact that that the CIA and various agencies have the ability to mask f footprints, create you know the illusion that that hackers are coming in and doing all this stuff after the fact, right? Because the leaks the leak already happened, right? The the dump, the the stealing of the emails had already occurred, so now they're covering their tracks, right? Get rid of the leaker. Right, get rid of him, and then create the illusion uh, that the Russians swooped in and did it with with no evidence. Right, crowd strike. It wasn't a, a a a an enforcement agency whatsoever. It was it was pay for play. The Clintons hired crowd strike to go to do it. Those those, those organizations have CIA contacts. Now I know it all sounds conspiratorial at this point because the nation has been so gaslit into accepting the fact that. Russians hacked the election, which it never happened. Uh, and when you say it, you then become the conspiracy theory. The truth becomes the conspiracy, and the conspiracy, uh, you know, becomes the truth. Right? That it's just it's crazy, right? It's really crazy. I mean, you could I, I some of the first videos I made, I told you that there is no possible way that that Russians hacked the election. They got caught cheating. That's the big that that was the little move that the. That the Mueller investigation covered. And guys like Kim.com are full of shit, right? Because if you had that kind of goods at that moment, you would have brought it forward, right? You would have brought it forward, right? So I, I, I really tend to doubt and have always doubted uh, his, his possession of evidence that Seth Ridge did it. I don't, I don't doubt for a second that, that uh, Julian Assange knows who gave him the emails. He said it on television. He alluded to the fact that that uh, that Seth Rich was the source. But but again, here's Kim.com trying to save his own fat ass. The thing that I've said is true. The statement that I've made on my website about Seth Rich is true. And uh, I just have to go through the legal process because I'm already in enough trouble and I don't want to give them another opportunity, another uh, way to attack me. And that's why, uh, you know, I have to rely on my legal advice uh, when it comes to information about Seth Rich and his involvement 
in the leaking of DNC emails. Please don't criticize me for doing the legally prudent thing. If you criticize anyone, criticize the Department of Justice. It's not the legally prudent thing to do, you fat fuck. Give up the information. Uh, you're just trying to save your own fucking ass. And Special Counsel Miller, who has received uh, a detailed letter from us, uh, we haven't even get, gotten any reply. How can the person who has been mandated with investigating the very issue that I'm talking about, that I'm offering to provide evidence for, how is that very person not interested in hearing from me? That's, I mean, that's a great point, right? I can't not agree with that, that Mueller, this guy's saying, I got evidence, I got evidence, and they didn't even want to hear it. So he's, 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 I mean, it is interesting that, that he does, he is saying it. I just don't believe, I just think he's a, he's a goal hanger. He's just riding the coattails of Julian Assange for his own gain. I've never heard Julian Assange say that, that, uh, Kim.com, I might be wrong about that, but I never heard Julian Assange say Kim.com knew the leak and, and, and such. It's bullshit. I, I never heard that. That is a question you should ask yourself, and that is someone you should criticize for not doing their job. Because the truth, in, in, in my mind, why they are not coming back to me is inconvenient. It does not uh, marry with the narrative of Russian hacking. It does not... Right, we already know that, right? We know that that the that Mueller favored the Democrats, the, the lunatic left, and, and went after, just tried to find out if Trump colluded with Russians. That, But again, Russiagate is predicated on the fact that Russians hacked the DNC. Right? Don't forget that. And he's just... I just see him as someone trying to insert himself into the story for his own gain. So that's, that's Tim, Kim.com, right? So, so is the, is, I mean, everybody's excited about this guy, right? Mr. Fucking, uh, John Durham, right? The U S attorney. Oh, he's going to lock him up. This is Trump's guy. I'm going to lock everybody up. Everybody's getting locked up, right? Well, is he going after what, what is, what exactly is this guy going after? Right? The justice department revealed on Monday that it is investigating several non-governmental organizations and individuals in the multi multifaceted, broad probe into alleged misconduct by U.S. intelligence agencies surrounding the, the election. According to DOJ letter to the House Judiciary Committee, Ger 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 Gerald Nadler, right? Um, so Durham is looking into whether foreign intelligence services played a role. Of note, the highly controversial Steele dossier. There's never a mention, what I'm trying to say is, is this, that that this guy, right, all, all our hopes and dreams of getting to the truth of the matter, right? Because if you reveal that truth, oh, if you reveal that truth, that the, D, that the DNC was not hacked by Russians, that that was, in fact, an inside job. Oh, man, you have a different, totally different narrative. Now you have, you have Americans protesting against a corrupt system. Right? It's like 1968 all over again. I mean, people forget the history of this country. But in 1968, we had a, a vast uh, uprising of anti-war. At the time, it was anti-war. Uh, I guess it still is. But now it's, it's more about income and wealth inequality and wrestling power from corporations. That's really the, the essence of the fight right now. At the time, it was, in 1968, it was stopping the the illegal war in Vietnam that was based on a, a lie, you know, or a, a theory about communism spreading to stop that war. And the, the, the 68 election was Hubert Humphrey running against uh, McCarthy at the time. I know people like to vilify McCarthy, but McCarthy actually represented the anti-war movement. And he was the, he was the candidate of that movement uh, and and uh, but uh, but uh, uh, the other guy he was he was LBJ's guy right fucking I'm getting my my history mixed up but the fact is that once Humphrey won the election or won the nominating process at sixty in 1968 
and then went on to lose to Nixon. The the streets were 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 I mean, people getting pounded with sticks. Watch the videos of the the Chicago police beating the shit out of the yippies at the time, right? Beating the shit out of them. And uh and 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 nothing ever happens. And and what happened was you had you had a Democratic Party with two fat two wings of the Democratic Party who couldn't communicate with each other. One saw it one way and the other saw it the other. And the, the one that saw it the other had all the power, right? The the war movement, the military industrial complex, the pe- the people that just shot Kennedy and you know, shot John Kennedy and shot Robert Kennedy and shot Martin Luther King. The same people that did all that violence were now s- trying to steal the Democratic, um, uh, con- you know, the, the Democratic nomination to to seize the presidency, to overthrow the president. Very, very corrupt, right? Very corrupt. But it's no different than the Hillary Clinton movement. It's the same thing, really, in that they were trying that that there was this insurgent left that wanted to get the money out of politics, that seized, seized the, the corporate uh, stranglehold that this country is in and wants to fix it. It wants to eradicate it, wants to break up banks, break up big tech, eliminate the, the pharmaceutical industrial complex, chop military spending in half, maybe, maybe more. I, people, the, the money doesn't want to hear that. So, so what I'm trying to say is 2016 was very reminiscent of 1968, where, where the Democratic Party severed, and then the, 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 the gain, the, the spoils of that war went to the other side. Donald Trump won because the Democratic Party fractured and refused to support the corrupt, the corrupt entity that had stole the election. It's no different right now. And so, so that is the essence of Russiagate, really. I mean, if people really want to talk about the truth of what happened in 2016 in the election, the, the real story is, is no steel dossier, is no really, it's not even so much trying to frame the president as a spy, a Russian agent or whatever. It's more about revealing the, the fact that the, the elections are not fair, that the, the Democratic Party is, is, is 100%, 98, 97% controlled by the corporate donors, the people that, that, that uh, their voice is heard, the 1% and your voice is not heard. And that, that is the fundamental uh, fight in politics. And that was the, the reason why the insiders, people like Seth Rich, stole the, 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 the Podesta's emails and stole the emails and gave it to WikiLeaks that the, so that the public would see the lie. They would see the corruption with their own eyes. And we witnessed the, you know, the, the exit polls not matching. Very, a lot of evidence to suggest that the machines themselves are, not, are, are uh, invalid, they're rigged. We saw polling places closed. We saw... 200,000 votes, uh, 200,000 voters purged off the rolls here in New York. Two, two million votes not counted in the state of California. People still online voting. Well, main, mainstream fake media calling the election in favor of the other party. Uh, so this is really the, the essence of, of Russiagate and uh, you know what it means to get to that truth is really, uh, really about, about election fraud because, again, Without free and fair elections, you don't have a democracy. Without the people being able to legitimately stand up and change policy, right? the, the United States Congress and Senate, is not, there's nothing carved in stone. It's a living, breathing instrument. Right? And p- if people have, if those voices are inside of Congress, people like, I know people hate, a, you know, uh, Ocasio-Cortez and, and Ilhan Omar, but... The, the fact is there are some of the few people that are expressing real ideas, actual organic ideas about cheating and lying and corruption, where the rest of them are all pay for play. Uh, so, so, so unless you have those free elections, unless you get to the heart of the matter, where the people's voice are expressed in the vote, then you, you don't have a democracy. You continue to have corporate, corporate rule, you continue, you, you know, you'll continue to have uh, fictional stories like Russiagate, you know, popping up. Pe- you know, people like Kim.com trying to ride the coattails, 
right? You'll have the prosecution of people like Julian Assange for, for publishing truth and on and on and on. See, it's like, you know, two years later, Julian Assange was the hero. And now two short years later, Julian Assange is sitting in a jail, and he, a jail cell and he's the villain. Right, and that that is the um, that is the fundamental tragedy. So, so you can you can suck uh, suck Kim Dot Com's ass all you want. I'm I'm just you know I'm just not buying it. I'm not buying it. Kim Dot Com, come forward, put your shit on the table, put your shit on the table. Julian Assange, you know, get off your high horse, put your put your evidence on the table, call it what it is, call it what it is already. It's it's election fraud. It's it's uh it, it was a leak from the inside. All right, let's get to the let's get to the bottom of the uh, of Russia Gate. Right? Let's go back in time. Kim dot com. If you got that evidence, man, put it up, man. Redeem yourself, man. Stop trying to stop trying to cover. Right, you're not going to get extradited for 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 copyright infringement unless, of course, your corrupt government, you know, New Zealand hands you over. But that's that's neither here nor there. Either way, you're not going to get a fair trial here. Either way, you're not going to get a fair trial. So you can give up the evidence and, and, and correct the record and, and still face the same fate. Or you could come here with that evidence and have it, have it uh, you know, denigrated and, and, and uh, you know, smeared right, legally. <laughs> so, so give up the evidence. Marcus Conti reporting.